Right, so it is now time to answer the question that we have all definitely been asking ourselves for the past while. Are the murder drones ballin'? This idea originated as a post that I made based on a piece of art I saw while looking for a new wallpaper. After seeing all the comments on that post, I made a short talking about this video, and then promptly ignored the idea for a month. But we are here now with the definitive Murder Drones Basketball Tier List. I can't believe I'm doing this. Couple of things to mention before we go over this. First up, extra rules regarding Absolute Solver are in a separate community post that I'd recommend you go read before writing that com... Okay, you did it already, didn't you? That's fine, I get it. Your precious hashtag relatable character isn't in S tier, so you want me dead. Perfectly reasonable. Second thing I want to explain is, there are quite a lot of characters in Murder Drones, and I couldn't be bothered ranking all of them. So I didn't. With that out of the way, let's get started at the bottom and work our way up. So starting at the RIP Ankles tier, we have Jay, Katiz McGee, and Khan. Khan is much more of a coach than a player. He'd be good at strategy and coming up with a plan, but really struggles to think on his feet. Lizzie again I think is suited to a different role here, that being dead in episode 4. Ugh. Finally, Jay is in this tier due solely to canonical events. Up next we have the eh tier, and those are the characters that I'd only really pick in the last round of the draft. They aren't hopeless, but we could definitely do better. We have Brayden in here, only because if I put him in bottom tier there would be a bounty on my head. James is pretty tall and definitely has some strength about him, but he would definitely ruin the team's morale by existing near us. Finally, we have the Doors. They are an okay defensive asset, but they can be bypassed by going through the air duct or sabotaging the controls. And offensively, there really isn't much they can offer other than being a good place to pass off of. Now into the good tier, and these are characters that aren't going to stand out on the court, but could get the job done. For Nori and Yeva, they're both here for the same reasons. Access to Absolute Solver is nice, but they're both shown that they're easily overpowered by the murder drones, and given that they let themselves get captured, they clearly don't have that aggressive nature I want to see out on the court. For Uzi, if I was making this video after episode 3, then she'd definitely be a tier or two higher, but as of right now, she's all the way down here. Her control over Absolute Solver is a huge liability to the team, and the weird obsession with arms and hand injuries means she's definitely either going to get hurt or fouled off. That being said, she is very athletic, and she has that anime skill set, which could definitely come in handy. In the solid tier, we have all the characters that I would want on my team. These guys would all definitely put up some numbers on the day. Starting with Thad, pretty obvious, we have the stereotypical jock character. He's obviously going to be pretty high up. He might not have the best physical abilities out of all the characters, but he's probably going to have the best form and technique. Not to mention, he can probably get a good cheer squad to show up. Tessa is also a pretty obvious one, the third tallest character in this list, very good vertical, very agile, and is aware of what basketball is. Eldritch monstrosities are also up here, and that's where I'm putting Sin since this is technically a true form. They aren't the most coordinated players, but the reach is very hard to argue with. Finally, in this tier we have the main man N. This might upset a few people, considering who I put in top tier, but the reason N isn't up there is again that lack of aggressiveness. He could definitely dunk on pretty much anyone here, but he's far too nice to do so. Finally, we have top tier, the squad. My top three picks for Murder Drone's basketball players. Doll is pretty obvious. She's like Uzi, but without any of the disadvantages, and being Russian gives her bonus points. V is just the better version of N. All the same tools, but has a much better mindset and is willing to put it all on the line for the team, which I can appreciate. And the last one is fairly obvious. He is the GOAT, plain and simple. Now for my five-man lineup. At point guard, we're going to have Thad. Doll's going to be starting at shooting guard. V at small forward. Tessa at power forward. And our GOAT is the resident big man. Let me know in the comments. Do you think anyone can beat this team? 